Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to review the Season 2 premiere of Riverdale on the CW. This episode is called Chapter 14, A Kiss Before Dying. And uh, I know this episode aired a few days ago now, um, but after how much I honestly enjoyed Season 1, I definitely wanted to get to it at some point. And uh, with the momentum that definitely kept up from the cliffhanger of Season 1, um, let me tell you, I, I think Season 2 is going to end up being even better than Season 1. Um, from what I just read, apparently it's going to be 22 episodes this season instead of 13. Uh, that can be a good or bad thing for any show. Um, some shows can pull it off and sort of have a plot that's able to stretch that far. Um, whereas some shows kind of falter and they have like filler or the, pre uh, or the plots kind of t spread too far thin or something like that. Um, riff, uh, whiff. <laughs> With Riverdale, I think it has a shot here because I really liked how this premiere started off and there's definitely enough elements, enough pieces moving that I think it can uh, it can justify its episode number this season. Um, and like I said, I really enjoyed Riverdale season one. It took me a little bit of time to get through it, but once I got back into it, I, I, I finished the season at a pretty good pace on Netflix. Um, you can hear more of my thoughts on the first season if you go watch that review, which I will provide a link to at the end of this video. Um, but, you know, it's a show that's thrown in with the likes of, you know, Pretty Little Liars and other, you know, teen dramas along that same area. Uh, but as I said in my season one review of Riverdale, uh, I, I couldn't even watch five minutes of Pretty Little Liars, but somehow I got almost addicted to Riverdale in its first season. Um, there's just something extra special about it. Yeah, it's a teen drama, you know, it's it's technically a teen drama, but there's this extra gloomy, slightly dark, you know, type of nature about it that makes it really intriguing. Um, the mystery last season with uh, the Blossoms was good, and now Who Shot Fred Andrews, it looks like to be even more layered in, uh, you know, personal mystery. Um, that's actually really uh, interesting to, uh, you know, think about all the possibilities and such. Um, and the characters are even better now. They they feel even more in depth. They feel fleshed out with new elements still coming in. Uh, I really like this episode. I think it's one definitely one of the best episodes of Riverdale Riverdale yet. Maybe even the best so far in general. Um, there's just a lot of things that worked about this episode. Of course, the main thing with uh, Fred being shot, Luke Perry's character. Um, you know, it was a question if he was going to make it or not. I kind of thought he would, just because they didn't show him actually die and, you know, stop, you know, moving completely at the end of season one. Um, and it looks like he pulls through. Uh, but now it appears that, uh, Herman Lodge may be behind it, or maybe, uh, Veronica's mom, you know, Hermione may have actually had more of a direct hand in ordering it. Um, Hermione, meanwhile, has taken a more, uh, villainous, you know, sort of, uh, turn for this season. Because in season one, she was a kind of a more, uh, you know, neutral or more uh, reasonable force, <laughs> parent-wise, in the show than, you know, like Betty's mom, and definitely more than the Blossoms. But now it appears like she's kind of uh, being wrapped up in her own nature once again with the return of Herman Lodge. Um, so I think Veronica's correct in not putting it past either of them to uh, try and deal with him that way, despite um, what once existed between Fred and her. Uh, and I thought the Veronica and Archie stuff got even better in this episode as well. I liked Veronica really trying to push herself to be different than she was before the series started, you know, not be sort of that more self-absorbed, selfish, you know, mean girl type, but to be a lot better than her parents, definitely, but just how she was there for Archie and how she decided not to walk away from him when, she, when he told her to leave. Um, really being there for him in a really serious way, I think, really uh, built a lot for their relationship. Um, and of course, that shower scene wasn't wasn't bad either. I'll admit, <laughs> um, I liked how that went. But back to the Fred thing, uh, I thought all those scenes are really well done. I thought it was KJ Apa's best performance on the show to date. Um, no question about that. And just the music and, you know, how they had, uh, had it sort of going in and out of, you know, sort of Fred's own, uh, battle, you know, with trying to, uh, you know, come through and trying to, you know, stay alive, basically, you know, for his son. I thought that was all pretty well handled, and I'll admit I got a little bit, uh, a little bit teary-eyed at times. 
because um, it is, you know, fairly relatable, uh, at least with uh, how Archie feels about his father and everything. Um, and I think they picked a... I'm kind of jumping around here, but I also think they picked a decent actor for, uh, you know, Herman Lodge. Um, he, he looks the part, and I think he's definitely going to be interesting for us in Season 2 now more directly. Um, the Jughead stuff is pretty good in this episode as well. He's trying to figure out, of course, who shot Fred as well, trying to use the serpents, you know, that uh, have so much respect for, you know, FP. Um, but they beat a guy right in the trailer. <laughs> um, it doesn't even turn out to be that guy. Instead, at the end, we see uh, Miss Grundy, the reappearance of uh, <laughs> Miss Grundy. Um, you know, she appears to be uh, chumming up with yet another younger student of hers, you know, you know, some distance away um, from Riverdale. And she is uh, killed by the apparently the same uh, guy that shot Fred. So we don't really know this motive. If it was Herman or Hermione who ordered, uh, you know, tried to order Fred's uh, death, um, why would they go after Grundy as well? You know, that wouldn't really make as much sense. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to be some kind of new character that has ties that we don't know about to the others. But I think it's someone we haven't met yet, you know. Um, but obviously someone who has some kind of history or vendetta, of course. Um, you know, there wasn't much humor in this episode, but I nonetheless still got invested in the characters I was engaged. And I think Riverdale Season 2 is off to an excellent start. Uh, I may do a video talking about my top five favorite characters on the show sometime or something, but my favorite is Veronica. I'm really excited for her arc with her father this season. Is he going to prove to be trying to change and maybe Hermione will be embracing her true nature more so? I don't know. Um, but I really like where Veronica's heading. I like where the show is heading in general. Um, I think it was an excellent start. I'm surprised I'm rating it this high, but I'm on I honestly enjoyed it a lot. At first I was just going to give it an 8.9, but honestly 9.2 9.3 out of 10 i i like it a lot much i can't help it so uh, yeah follow me on facebook twitter like subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time peace